Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Our saga's still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dickwipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Why should I trust you? Remind me again. Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead, or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seeing your memories, gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. the heist, I take it. Must have, uh, talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Old damn city's hurt. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. You know where she is? what I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I won't? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's?
seen you here before. Got a good memory for faces. Bar's closed. Sorry, Chu. I'm uh, looking for Evelyn Parker. Know where I might find her? Used to come round. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den? Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Just don't let me catch you messing around, okay? Whoa, whoa, start again. What is it you want us to do about it? Beat some sense into it. That don't work. I don't know you said. I, I don't care. I just want my room back. Your pimp threw you out then? <laughs> Judy's embarrassing herself again. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to see back let here. Let it lie. Judy's friend. city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Susie seems to know what she wants. Is she your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on it. Wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Megat Tower. Luxurious. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Give you a call, okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not?
Call me Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's V. And what? No wings to meet you? Hmm. I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me. It's a damn shame dolphins can only survive in lab tanks. I'd sure love to see them take a crack at world domination. Akada, Lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well. You and that friend of yours. Until then. I see it only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. What if I miss this time, enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Our sock and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty, except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corps leave it to the gang, suits collars, and gets swept. Surprised? No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka, she could have done better. This whole situation's bent on cheeks spread wide. Someone's in a great mood. Not every day a half-brain dead dude drags me around a cat house on a wild boar chase. So having a grand old time. I think Judy's lying. Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. Mr. Stern. We have a whole... Hold on. You take the blow up doll. Remodel, and, and that's cheap. That's the infidel. Uh, no. Well, how's that any different from some dollhouse ass? Cause the ass is meat, not latex. That's so hard to understand. Meat, right? No feeling going on, no thinking, no awareness. It's empty. Might as well be latex. Masturbation, sophisticated kind. That's all it is. Whoa, fuck. Makes perfect sense, that. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal?
Looking for Evelyn Parker. Does she work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I'm not a customer. Well, all the more reason to be excited. There's a first time for everyone at Clouds. It's no reason to dawdle. All you need to do is jack in. We'll create your personal profile and you'll be good to go. Huh. I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. How could you possibly know what I'm looking for? Clouds always knows. Your deepest desire? We find it. You'll have your needs fulfilled. And maybe much more. Less is not a word we use around here. So how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into... experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting? Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure. You never get what you expect. Consider my interest peaked. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Samurai. And saved. Now, bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. matches interesting is that normal or who can say what is normal you're clearly a unique person with unique tastes our system can handle it so who will it be angel or sky rather go with sky i couldn't have chosen better myself now for the payment and you'll venture into the clouds. Not here to pay and play. Just want some info. Ah, unfortunately, that we do not sell. Should you change your mind, come back. All right, I changed my mind. I'll pay. Temptation is often too strong to resist. Please jack in. There you go. The payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. That it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a dick, Johnny. Don't worry, all your grown-up toys will be safe with us. Th 
Thank you. We hope you enjoy your stay. Guess that makes you a real deviant. Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. Hi, I'm Sky. And you must be Vincent. V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay then. V. Welp, looks like this'll be interesting. So, V, you're dying. How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside, you fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. There's something in those mirrors. Way back. It's a projection. Your inner landscape. It's what I needed. Therapy with a robo-hooker. I'm not here to analyze you. That's not something I do. I'm here to fulfill your deepest, most hidden desire. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. I asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. You just gonna talk in circles? That it? I can't help you if you don't want to be helped. What's next? Meditation? Something like that. Try me. Just answer my question. Tell me where Evelyn is. Don't have time for a... debate. Why'd the manager say she doesn't work here anymore? When was Evelyn last here? You know anything. Evelyn had her own story, before it collided with yours. But I know you'll find her. You always get your way. I stole this place to fulfill my deepest desires. Not what I was expecting, this. When true desires go unfulfilled, they turn into needs. We are here to reach for them and beyond. We are here to understand. So what is it I need so badly? To come to terms with the fact that you died. Now move on already. That's tough. Rather let it eat away at me a bit more. Fear of death is what drives us all to do what we do. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Still want to be the best. Never gave up on that goal. Chances of getting there is starting to look pretty slim, though. I just want the world to know that I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased. As if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different. Death is death is death. You're gone, game over. You can't know that for certain, even if you've been there and back. Believe me, I've seen it, and it's fucking boring. You haven't stopped grieving since, or for what's to come. What I've been through, tough to move on from that. Death was something that happened to other people. Hell that I dealt to others. Now my number will be up. Wasn't enough I died once. 
have to go and do it again. Death's absurdity, the futile struggle before, these terrify you. So what now? Now, you find out what it is you need to do. Which is... you're gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should've, you go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action, going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you now. But how do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have. Need to talk to you.